Welcome to the concluding part on the topic development of number systems. Two. First, we look at the Roman system. The Roman system is one of the ancient methods of writing numbers. The Romans used capital letters of the alphabets for numerals. You can see our table there showing the Roman numerals from 1 to 1000. So study the table closely to see how the numbers are formed. If you see that there's an arrow pointing to 90, when we have a smaller number coming before a larger number, it means subtraction. So XC means 100 minus 10, which is 90. Also, 600 is cycled. When we have a smaller number coming after a bigger number, it means addition. So DC means 500 plus 100. So let's see some examples. The first question there says, the numeral CXII stands for which number? So let's see the solution. We walk from the left hand side. So meaning we write C first, which is 100, X, which is 10, XII, which is 2. Then we will now add up 2 plus 0 plus 0 is 2, 1 plus 0 is 1, then the other one will bring it down. The second question there says what number does MDCLXXVIII represent solution we also work from the left hand side our M is 1000 D is 500 C is 100 L is 50 XX is 20 V is 5 and III is 3 and adding it up we get our answer which is 1678 So let's look at a simple code. We can use numbers to stand for letters of the alphabet as shown in the tables below. So from the table, we can see clearly that A stands for 1, B stands for 2, K stands for 11, L stands for 12. Also in the other table there, we can see that N stands for 14 and so on and so forth. Now, let's see some examples. We are asked to translate the following codes to words. Number 1, 19, 20, 15, 16. Number 2, 2, 15, 15, 11, 19. Number 3, 7, 15, 15, 4, 2, 15, and 25. So let's see the solution from the table can see that 19 is S, 20 is T, 15 is O, and 16 is P. On the third question, we can see the two brackets. So endeavor to put a space between the words. Okay, so this is the assessment for you to see how far you understood the topic. So you can go through the videos again to make sure you get every of the assessment question correctly. Thank you.